Hey guys, it's Chad with Tempest Overland today. We are down here at the shop today. We're gonna to talk about oil catch cans and why you may or may not want to install one on your vehicle. Um, today, we're gonna to be going over my installation of one on a Ford Ranger four liter overhead valve motor. This is in my 98 that I just rebuilt the motor in. So, an oil catch can is very self-explanatory. It's designed to catch oil particles that, in this case, go from your crankcase vent which in this motor does not actually have a PCV system. It is just an open vent from your oil fill neck into your intake. So normally, any of your positive pressure coming from your crank crankcase from your blow-by in your cylinders, normally vents the oil right into the intake tube and it ends up going through your throttle body and back into, the, into your cylinder heads and stuff. And that eventually has, ends up to be a lot of oil buildup that will cause problems. I know, so I just pulled this motor apart and it actually wasn't too terribly bad for buildup, but there was quite a bit of oil in the intake when I first bought this truck. So the reasoning behind this oil catch can is that, and I, and I will do a small video here too, and I will show you where all my pipings are run and stuff like that, but essentially that vent tube runs into one side of your oil catch can where it is baffled to drain the oil out and then the air is allowed back out of the catch can and then further into your intake. Now the point of this is basically just to help clean, clean the air that's recirculating back in your intake so you're not burning that oil. Now in most vehicles, you're driving them enough and to where it's burning off that oil and you're not too terribly worried about it. For me, this being a truck with 167,000 miles on this motor and just rebuilding it, I don't want to go ahead and feed all that shit back into it and have it rebuilt up. So on this truck, I actually deleted the EGR and we are installing this catch can to try and keep the intake cleaner so that it'll last a little longer without any problems. We're gonna be running some oil additives and some fuel additives here soon as well, just to kind of see if anything really changes. Um, but, so now I will flip you around. We'll, I'll show you how all this stuff's routed with mine and how we mounted this catch can. So. All right, so we got your oil catch can, so this, is a dipstick for the can so that way you're not having to open it every time you want to check it you just check your dipstick to see if you have enough oil in there that you'd want to consider changing that this just simply unscrews just did a little bracket with a few screws to hold it to all bolt it together so now we'll go to this is the inside so this is a 5 ace low pressure hydraulic hose to withstand the oil buildup and basically this just runs to from the oil fill is your regular vent. Now this normally just cycles into your intake. So in this case with the catch can, this side comes out, this 5A side goes into your catch can. The catch can is internally baffled to catch the oil particles, where it is then the air is allowed to come back out, goes through this hose and cycles back in your intake. So that way you're trying to keep the oil particles filtered in the catch can so they're not re-entering your intake and going back through your motor. Now the reason this hose is so long is that eventually this truck's going to have a custom intake done to it. So I didn't want to cut this because this hydraulic hose is fairly expensive. About three feet of three ace and three feet of five ace and it was actually almost 25 bucks for just six feet of hose. So that's the only reason this is extra long right now. This will be shortened to the correct length once the intake's done. But for now, I just use this catch can comes with four standard fittings. You have two five ace and two three ace. I use two three ace for my outside and I only had to use one five ace for my in because it actually matches this size. Just, just pushed over, this side is clamped because it's actually a little bit smaller. So on this side, I just took the factory piece and cut a little bit off, put the fitting into it and hose clamp the fitting in. That way I can always, when I build my intake, I can take this fitting back out and tap it into my intake. So that is the basics of an oil catch can. Um, with the 4 liter overhead valve motor, being that it is a large cubic inch motor for a V6, especially of its era, like this is actually a very large V6 motor, it has a lot of excessive blow-by just as a naturally aspirated motor. So more so than I've seen in a lot of them, I've had a couple of different 4 liter OHV motors now and they're terrible with blow-by especially as you get into higher mileage. My old Explorer with 200,000 on it was very, very bad with blow-by. So an old catch can can be a huge benefit for these. This one in particular, this is the first time I've tried this one. It was only 30 bucks and it's anodized aluminum. So we're gonna give it a shot. Worst case scenario, it doesn't really do much and it's no worse than factory, but we're gonna run it for about a thousand miles and see how much oil buildup is in it. 
So you guys stay tuned for that update video.